The search is on for three guys seen walking into this store in Tioga and blowing up an ATM. And Jennifer, you have new details, including new surveillance. Yes, that's right. The surveillance video shows the power of this explosion. Police say thankfully no one was hurt, but there was a store clerk inside. He said it was traumatic. He was all alone, and this happened during the overnight hours. They put like a, a bomb inside the machine. Moments before the explosion, if you look closely, the person in the gray New Balance sweater is fidgeting by the ATM. He signals to leave, and all three run out of the store. Mohammed Umar. <laughs> Here, running just as the explosion goes off. I took a look at the camera, and I saw like uh, a bomb inside the machine started to like. He's talking about the smoke that started hissing in front of the ATM, which seconds later rocked the small convenience store. Umar says he dropped to the ground, then went inside the bathroom to try to get away from the thick smoke. I went to the bathroom to like get some breath because I can't breath. Over the last few years, Philadelphia police have responded to other ATM explosions and thefts. In January, witnesses heard the explosion on North 56 and Media Streets in West Philly, where police say there was an attempted ATM theft. And that same month, police say suspects got inside a store on the 7,000 block of Woodland Avenue and removed an ATM and stole cash, merchandise, and a handgun. In this latest attempt, police say the suspects may be in their teens to early 20s wearing hoodies and masks. You can see the ATM was damaged, but Umar says the safe was not and no cash was taken. It's very scary, actually. This is a joint investigation with Philadelphia police as well as the ATF field office here in Philadelphia. If you have any information, police want to hear from you. Jason and Sheba. All right, Jennifer, thank you. We want you to take.